the same way the fight uh, with Michael Moore uh, came inside of four rounds, so they did not go to the scorecards. If, if Crow can't continue, we're coming back. The bow. Resistance becomes strength. It becomes power. The power to change and reshape your entire body. This is Bowflex, an entire gem in one easy to use machine. So powerful, it delivers over 60 health club quality exercises with up to 410 pounds of resistance in any room in your home. Strength training with Bowflex is so effective that we guarantee you'll get the results you want in six weeks or less. One simple workout. 20 minutes a day, three days a week. Bowflex is real. The results are real. And you can own one with no money down and payments as low as $33 per month. Call right now for a free video and brochure. Bowflex, the power is yours. What sets Daytech apart from other online brokers? Free online trading tools. Daytech gives you free real-time streaming quotes. And you can track stocks with free real-time streaming charts. Real-time and free? I like that. Searching for stocks that fit your trading strategy? Use the free real-time stock screener. Check valuable S&P research. Free access to research? That helps. And you can also get free streaming news from Dow Jones. Unlike other brokers, all online equity orders are just $9.99. And only Daytech guarantees that if your marketable order is not executed within 60 seconds, the commission's waived. Open and fund your account today and get 10 free online equity trades. Call toll-free 1-877-410-4331 or visit this special website. Free trading tools, just part of the Daytech difference. Daytech, built to trade. Still to come, our main event, Robert Davis and Terrence Lewis, Chapter 2. Lewis getting those gloves taped. That's still to come. Now Crow trying to hang in against the Barrel Williams. Three knockdowns in the first round. His legs, even in the second round, are still not back. Plus, he's got a cut over his left eye to contend. Crow's got to make it through four rounds for this to become what would be an official fight, should it be stopped because of that cut. I have actually seen, of course, corners not that anxious to let their fighters come out for the in particular fourth round if, uh, if their guy is trailing on the scorecards, as the Crow most certainly is at this point. Well, that's true. But I've also seen corners who aren't aware of the rules. <laughs> Rivera trying to set Crow up for the right hand. He's peppering him with jabs, and then he comes in. There you see it, the right hand. But he came underneath Barry, which I think was a surprise to Gail Crow. There's another uppercut. He's the left hand behind him. Crow's corner wants him to throw the uppercut when they get in close quarters. So when you get getting close, you're not throwing any punches. His legs went immediately upon the delivery of that punch, and his legs, I'm looking at him, he looks very rocky here. Very rocky. Hey, walk to me. Gibson was looking into his eyes, and Toby Gibson telling him you're taking too many punches, so Toby is thinking about stopping this fight. Well, it would be well stopped if he should go again. Here's Sean O'Grady. Sean, hey guys, I was hanging out over in, uh, in his corner, Dale Curry's corner. He was complaining about his left leg hurting. Perhaps when they wrestled to the floor, it hurt his left leg. You know, that's the punch that he has all of his power with. He's getting taxed again, guys. Yeah, he really is. Trying to fight out of the corner, and he's going to have to. Gibson taking a very close look here. You better fight back. This one's almost over, I think.
Well, that's some performance by DeVero Williams, and let me tell you, he was a two-fisted banger in there tonight. I thought he might have punched himself out in the first round, but look what he gave us in that last round. DeVero Williamson, an outstanding amateur career, turning pro at a late age, but nonetheless, looks like he's got a lot to offer. He still needs some polishing, Barry, but uh, he's got the power. No question about the offense of DeVero Williamson. Defense, maybe a little bit of tweaking, but... Uh, the guy he fought tonight, uh, really, I think, if you look at uh, the list of uh, Williamson's prior opponents, I think it's a step up. Well, Dale, it certainly is a step up. Dale Crow, uh, you know, he had that fight with Michael Moore. Sure, that one was a, a technical draw through four rounds, but nonetheless, he had he wasn't hurt the way that he was tonight. His fight with Greg Page went ten rounds. His fight with the Cliff Cozer, ten rounds. His fight with Lawrence Claybay, that went the distance. So, Kendall, that went the distance. This is very unusual and very disappointing for that man there. And for the winner, DeVero Williamson, he's a guy who is on a fast track. He fought in January, fought in March, fought in April, and wins convincingly tonight. Free t-shirt. Well, DeVero Williamson, an impressive winner over Dale Crow, we make it official. Here's Jake Gutierrez. Ladies and gentlemen, we have the time of 2 minutes 26 seconds of the third round as referee Toby Gibson stops this bout. The winner by TKO victory, DeVero, a touch of sleep, Williamson! Touch of sleep is accurate. Yes, and some uh, enterprising mattress company can uh, jump on that bandwagon real soon for an endorsement, I think, probably. I think that's true. Impressive performance. You know, he, he reminds me a little bit in the way that he throws some of these punches from weird angles at his weight of uh, Michael Spinks. So he throws some uh, uh, similar type punches. We don't know if he's got the Spink jinx with the right hand, but as you take a look, that is a tremendous shot. Now, from that knockdown, Dale Crow never really regained his legs. You see how easy he lost his balance there? And he never was able to regain his legs. He tried punching it out, but he just had no pins underneath him, Barry. Round three came, and uh, just look at DeVero Williamson not letting him off the hook. Through a lot of punches, Dale very slow to get up right there. And finally, the fight coming to an end as DeVero Williamson merciless here as he pounded away at his opponent, Dale Crow, and did to Dale Crow something that none of a, a lot of very significant fighters have been able to do. Good performance by DeVero. Really was. Let's go to the center of the ring, hear what DeVero has to say with Sean O'Grady. Champ? Thanks, guys. Sometimes you get these names at a touch of sleep. You're not really quite sure what, what the meaning behind them is, but I think we all saw the meaning behind a touch of sleep in this fight. What did it look like from you? Well, exactly what it looked like, Sean. It looked like uh, a touch of sleep was here in Las Vegas, Nevada, here at the Hilton, the Hotel Hilton. And uh, I was very excited about uh, my doable opponent, uh, Dale Crow. And we stayed behind the jab and took care of business. You set your jab in that opening round. Everything else worked off that. How important was that jab? Oh, gosh, I can't overemphasize the, enough the use of a good jab. Now, sometimes I didn't use it good because I was pawn with it, and my coach, George Durbin, reminded me about that in the corner. So I came back out and tried to use the stiff jab as often as I could. Equal power, you knocked him down once with the right hand, and then, then again, another time with the left hand. How, what, what's your best punch? Uh, I think my best punch is definitely my left hook to the body. That's my wife, Shalifa, yeah. thinks it is. It's, uh, my you don't hit her body. with it. Oh, God, no. no but she, she, she <laughs> thinks about in sparring and tapes and things like that. She yeah. said, I don't use it enough, but the right hand has been working very, very good for me, and the left hand is coming along. Well, against the southpaw fighters, you're taught, as you know, to throw a straight right hand, and I think that's what you threw in the first knockdown of him. What were you thinking? Uh, I was thinking just to, uh, to time it. He kind of lunges with his left hand, so I tried to take a half step back that I learned so well in the amateurs and come back with my own straight right hand and get out of the way of his left hand, and it worked beautiful. He kind of ran right into it, and it wasn't really a bunch of power. It was just his quickness, and I think the first one was a flash knockdown. The second one was a, a very good knockdown. Yeah, yeah well, they were all very good knockdowns. It was a very exciting fight. As short as it lasted, it was very exciting for you, and I know you're, you're happy to get this win. Del Crow's yes, a man. tough guy. Never been down, never been out. Well, I, you know, God bless him, and I'm hoping he's okay. And I'm going back to Denver and uh, looking forward to training right. again and getting ready for the next fight. Good kid. All Thank right, you. way Thank to you, go. Sean. DeVero Williamson, huh? How about that? Nice kid, too, on top of all that. Barry and Rich? 
I think he's as old as you are. Isn't he, Sean? I don't know. <laughs> and he's got, this kid's got it together, though, really. Uh, Devero Williamson, he's got a bachelor's of science degree from Wayne State College. He was a college quarterback, so he's a real athlete. Even tried out for the Indianapolis Colts. So he is an athlete who has become a boxer, and he is looking pretty good. Yep, he is. Convincing win for him tonight. Third round TKO for a guy who, as Sean said, has never been down and never been out. Not so tonight. We'll be back.